got, uh, let's see, UFC on ESPN 37, Calvin Kadar versus Josh Emmett, Moody Center, Austin, Texas. First fight is going to be, the first fight that we're really going to just dive into is going to be the Phil Halls and Deron Wynn. And we did some research and just, realistically. I honestly think the uh, wrestling is going to cancel out. Yeah. It's going to come down to who has the better hands. And and I think Phil, his last fight, he slipped up. Yeah, he I think did. He, under, he underestimated Chris he, Curtis. He did. And um, it cost him. And, and it cost him. But he, he was, was looking good until he was, lost, bro, man. He was just, looking fantastic until he literally, there were certain things that he did that made me say, like, why would you do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, certain things, I looked at you and said, yeah, he's finna lose this fight because that was your opportunity to finish him. That was your opportunity to get him out of there. And you kind of playing around with it too much, trying to look too pretty with it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is MMA. All that trying to look good with it, just get the W because, look, then uh, Chris threw one punch dog on near the whole fight and won. You know, so if and then Daron, I mean Daron, I mean seven and two in the UFC, uh, no seven and two overall, but two and two in the UFC, um, coming off of a win, but I mean his wrestling is a large part of his game in that power. Now the only thing I can see now I can see a path to victory of him maybe getting feel tired. I can't see that to be honest, man. If I'm just to be honest. How what's the path to victory for him then? Like, I mean, uh, he would have to land that big punch. He would have to land. The, it gets this fight is this fight is gonna get interesting. Like after the first round, after yeah. the first round is gonna get real interesting, man. But I think in the first round, I think Phil like uh, his approach should be uh, get him out the first round. Phil, yeah, he gotta get. Uh, That's run he gonna be the strongest. The, the run gonna be. The you think so? I don't think so, man. Yeah. I think Phil gonna be the strongest in the first round. Who car do you think will hold up better? <laughs> Duran. You might be right about that though, but in the thing, and you know what's so weird? I'll be is, honest. I don't think Duran belong in there with Phil. I'm gonna just be honest. I man. don't, but Phil does some stuff, man. That's like it's weird because sometimes Phil looks phenomenal, yeah. and then sometimes it's like it depends on like, which version hey, you get. What, what, what version you get? Now I know he's been winning largely, like lately. Um, the only thing is, David. Let me see. His only loss since 2019 has has been one loss to Chris Curtis. But the way he was winning that fight, bro, and, and then also, to just lose and also did, like that was this. I'm looking at Chris Curtis' record right now. He won seven in a row. And his last win come off Brandon Allen. Yeah. So, like, I don't he think. Just he just owned one right now. Yeah, like, he just lost it. I think people he underestimate Chris yeah, Curtis. That's true. People underestimate him, man. Man, so. Who I you? don't think. Yeah, I think Chris would embarrass uh, Deron, too. Well, Chris yeah, Curtis. Oh, of course. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, man, I'm taking, I'm taking Phil in the first round. First run is crazy. Uh, I'm taking. I'm taking. Uh, first run is crazy because a lot, of, a lot of his run. fights been going to decision. He's going yeah. to four. The uh, run has gone to four decisions in a yeah, row in the UFC, and then five decisions in a row with a UFC level caliber fighter because Tom Lawler, yeah. uh, he fought him and went to decision before he got to the UFC. So that's I interesting. Think gets, I think the run he gets kind of like uh, he loses his confidence a little bit when he can get takedown. Yeah. So I think that'll happen with Phil. But the thing is, Phil does the same thing. Well, if he, and, if yeah. Phil don't get a, a quick finish, exactly. you can tell he kind of get discouraged but, a little bit. But um, sometimes, like in the last fight with Chris, when he couldn't, when things didn't uh, really go, no, there were so many opportunities where he could have won the fight and he just didn't do it. And I just, I just, that just stuck with me. I just thought that was so odd. Like, what if that happens this fight? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I think they're both kind of inconsistent. I think they both have two versions of themselves. Yeah. But I think Phil Halls. I it's think more like, a little bit more consistent. Ver- yeah, his version because is better. Really, yeah, because right now, since the contender with uh, Marquez when he lost in mm-hmm. 2017, he'd been in Bellator, Brave CF, WFC, got back to the contender in 2020. And so now under the Zufa belt, now he is one, two, three, four. He's four and one. So he's more consistent, you know. So I'm who you going with? I'm going with Phil in the first round. Maybe at the latest second round finish. Yeah, I'm a, I think I'm gonna take Phil as well here. 